so we've got ourselves a dog. Yeah. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here she is. Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm. Good girl. Yeah, she's fantastic. She is um, a Labradoodle, so she's part Labrador and part Poodle. Yeah, that makes her a hybrid. Yes. Um, we were going to call her Prius, but that would have been cruel, and she would have eaten a lot more than we were expecting. Yeah. Um, so, you're not going to believe her real name, okay? This is a work of genius. Her name is Top Gear Dog. It's brilliant. <laughs> it's brilliant. Okay. Here goes. Why, oh why, did we have to do this round by where I am? On the plus side, it has kept most of its boot space. Good for hiding it. Nissan say that it's class leading. Oh. I can't do anymore. I've done enough. I just can't take it. I'll leave it there. Well, it's not as though anyone's going to steal it, are they? This mail order carving knife that James has brought is useless. I'm sorry, that's something else. So I left Hammond and May to it and went to rent something a little more manly. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about! Riding a bicycle. You never forget how to sew. Oh, damn and blast! What? What have you done? I've sewn myself to the machine. Oh, <laughs> so no. James, uh, bad news. While we were off air, some environmentalists broke into our track. Oh, yeah. And uh, attempted to make, well, their own version of Top Gear. Yeah. Now, we've managed to obtain uh, their rushes, their footage, and we'd like to show you what they came up with. Green pressure group uh, called the Conservative Party. That is the host look. That is our track. He's getting into a Ford Focus. With bioethanol written on it. Yeah. For some reason. And away he goes. He's going into the hammerhead. He must be doing 16 miles an hour now. It's not very good, this show, is it? No. I don't think the environmentalists have quite got the hang of it at all. Oh, look, he's got an invalid carriage. Oh, dear. No, well, there's someone in it showing him how it works. Oh, that's the, that's the rear view mirror. You'll need that. There'll be loads of stuff behind you, mate. <laughs> he's off. He's off. Oh, the space. In his electric car. Oh, no, he's turned the indicator on. I wouldn't do that. You'll wear the battery down. <laughs> no. Yes. He's doing... Wait a minute. What's gone wrong? Oh, it's out of juice. I told him not to use the indicator, you see. Good no, no. Uh-oh. What no. was that? It's all collapsed in the bag. It's oh, over here. My head's holding it up! That's fine. Just stay where you are. <laughs> 65, 66. Here we go. 69. Yes! yes. Hey! Oh, oh, it's Stop the team. She's breaking up. She's breaking up. It's needless we can work. <laughs> See, from a distance, it actually looks quite good. <laughs> from the back end, look at that! Look at that! This isn't its best side, though, because you've got the hinges on. It looks better from the other side. Right, so. The group of Corvettes like this, I always think I'm looking at a boy band. They're very good looking, they're cheap, and they make a, a nice noise in a sort of middle of the road type way. But behind the scenes, they're all of them almost completely talentless and a bit flimsy. Look at that. It costs £9.99. Um, you stick it in your cigarette lighter when you're driving in France, and when you turn the car on in the morning, its little electronic voice reminds you to drive on the right. That might be useful if you're Reasonable. a bit thick. Sounds like a good idea. Actually, it's a complete waste of £9.99. When you get up in the morning, all your luggage has been stolen from the boot and your car's just a burnt-out shell, you'll know you're in France anyway, so why do you do that? <laughs> It's a fair point. A bit of my experience. What? It's the cruise control. Leave it alone. I just realised I can take control. <laughs> <laughs>
With me on the throttle, we were soon in Brighton. With Hammond still wondering what we were going to do on the show, and James and I wondering why anyone would want to buy the cramped and expensive Cadillac with its bad clock and soggy suspension. So in other words, to buy this car, what you've got to do is say, no, I don't want the Lexus, I don't want the Mercedes, I don't want the BMW, I don't want the Audi, I more want a Cadillac. How f why would you turn down all those cars to have there? The meeting rambled on for ages, during which time nothing got sorted. I the idea of reading the news butt naked. Almost um, and then, with just over an hour to go... I still don't understand any of this. <laughs> <laughs> So, at quarter past and quarter two, there are the headlines that James can read. As I acquainted myself with the studio, James set about mastering some of the station's other technical equipment. Right. Um... Is that it? Is that your intro? Uh, Can I just say good afternoon? This is still BBC Southern Counties Radio. And we weren't what you'd call slick. Can I do the weather? Yeah. Uh, I've lost it. Oh. So you think of this one, that is great. I've been driving in my car listening to Jeremy Norton. How much did you spend making those? Five pounds a pop. So, he's not just reporting on the traffic, he's bossing it about. brave. Now, who's this exact for coming down in the Volkswagen van? You're leaving a 200-yard gap there. Now, close up. Hammond mistimed a trip to the loo, and while he was in there, a song finished. Hello? Is that... Is there somebody there? Is anybody there? Hello? Oh. And then we upset the station's sports reporter. 204 for 9, the latest score. Carl Hopkinson, 45. Rana is 26, not out. Three wickets apiece for Dominic Thornley and Sean Irvine. As for Surrey, Sorry. they're going much... That happens. 53 for 3, is that good? It's all completely hopeless. Everywhere I can see people in Astra's. M25, Godston's jammed up at Junction 6. Barrow Grip. Don't use it. Don't use it. Stay at work. Be productive and buy a helicopter. Oh, look at that. Non trovo mio figlio. I can't find my son. <laughs> Even though he's at maximum attack, he's still got time to learn Italian. Now, look at that. Through Chicago. So, where do you think you've come? <laughs> Do you think you've beaten Ellen MacArthur? 146? <laughs> Do you think maybe you went faster than Nigel Mansell on the Top Gear F1 board there? 144.6. Okay, uh, well, let's cut to the chase. You did it in one minute, and most of our guests lean forward a little at this point because they're anticipating it. One minute. <laughs> 40. Now, Nigel Mansell was 44.6. You were 44. Point. Oh, he's not bothered. <laughs> well, is he not interested how fast he did it? Well, never mind, I am. He did it in one minute, 44.4. The fastest time ever in a spin. Who couldn't go a lot? You utter pirate. Ow, ow, I'm on fire. No. Oh. Ow. <laughs> oh, for God's sake! Right, that's got it. Little paintbrush for cleaning dust out of the switches. <laughs> You're scaring me, mate. And I always like to have the air vents lined up, really, so they're stop completely symmetrical. Stop talking now. <laughs> and if anybody moves them... No, stop it. ...I get really angry. Does genuinely scare me. The iPod thing, you know iPods are white? Yeah, cool. And because of that, I've now bought a pair of white sunglasses. They're not cool, actually, no. <laughs> Do 
Jaguar XK. Ah. Well, I'm sorry, where are we? <laughs> Who said Sub Zero? Sub Zero, you think? Definitely. Where do you work at Jaguar? <laughs> what do you do? Do you like this? Do you work for Jaguar? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to have to explain all this to my nine-year-old boy, <laughs> who's ten, I've just remembered. <laughs> Maybe I won't have to explain it to him after. Did you see um, Cameron Diaz last week when she said, my Toyota Prius does 52 miles to the gallon in the city? No, it doesn't. <laughs> it just doesn't. No, absolutely not. In fact, when they said, Cameron, it does 52 miles to the gallon, they were Acting. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, if she can do 52 miles to the gallon in that car, I'll let her sleep with me. <laughs> that's fair. And that's not the sound of Cameron Diaz reaching for a car key. Fashion does push buttons in this car. You just tell it what you want it to do. For example, station, radio two. And it goes to radio two. Or, station, absolute rubbish. Look, Radio 1, it knows! How brilliant's that? Enter destination. Would you like to spell the name of the town? W-A-R-S-A-W. Starting route guidance. And there you are. Poland! This means, of course, that you get all the digital channels. QVC, Quiz Call, Price Drop TV, Fashion... That means, of course, you're never more than two clicks away from something with Richard Hammond in it. Yeah, man, I should try. It was before oh. you got hold of it. Well, that one particular one. Tell the ladies and gentlemen what you did to it. Well, after we'd had the race, I was sort of going back up the hill, and then a member of the production team was sort of coming down the hill. <laughs> and we had a bit of a slight bump. Bit of a bump sort of is thing, how yes. you describe it. Yes. Uh, we've got some photographs. Anyone want to see the no, bit of a bump? Really. No, they're up Not here really. on the screens, and uh, that's... Oh. <laughs> and who'd like to see the car he hit? That's not bad. Let's have a look. There's oh, the car he hit. Now, most of that polish out, it was just a slight <laughs> shunt. You there. set the airbags off yeah, in the Porsche, uh, yeah. look. Actually... Blows. Next, the door panels. And, of course, Marie wanted something from the planet Zarg. This is fantastic. It comes in different colours. Jeremy, please, a little bit of style. But she lost that battle as well. This is going to be hideous, you realise that? Oh, I'm sorry, what's the matter with plaster? Oh, yes, but what you want to do with it is going to be hideous. When you hear this, just hear Agincourt. That's all you need to hear. Yes. Yeah. Welcome to Anne Hathaway's Cottage. Um, as you can see, I've got a wooden floor in the, uh, in the front, and in the back, I've gone for stone flags. Uh, while we're there, we've got the log store, the wood-burning stove. Uh, there's a little bookcase with a globe on the top. Here's my wing back. I found one that fitted. Uh, and, of course, all the furniture is fully adjustable, like that. <laughs> this one, you see, goes forwards and back. And this is a really nice touch. <laughs> I can imagine his parents having quite a lot of uh, trouble with him as a child and again today because he hasn't grown much, has he? Right then. Adjust my seat. Right, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Go. Ah! Yeah, that's... That's a design that's not, flaw. Yeah, that is a problem. Hang on. Stop. Why don't you go in the back? I'm going to go in the back. <laughs> Yes, two. Yes, one. Yes, go. Plant pots are over. Yeah. Flower arrangements sliding backwards quickly. Me glow, <laughs> me pots, me plants. <laughs> uh, we're approaching 35 miles an hour. This is the fastest Anne Hathaway's cottage has ever been. 43 miles an hour. Good. Yes. If this gets any slower, we'll have to redecorate. It'll have gone out of oh, fashion. Oh, no! What? The chimney's fallen off. You're joking! Keep going. I am! 56 miles an hour. Hold on! 59! 60 miles an hour! 35.4 seconds. This is the safest car ever made. I've got a scar! I've got bruised ribs 
and a very badly barked shin. Yes. Listen, <laughs> listen. You see these endless uh, crash test footage, OK, of cars being thumped into concrete blocks and the concrete block is never damaged. This is a concrete block. I would absolutely happily drive this into the concrete block. <laughs> Turning left at some traffic lights, however, Lethal. is extremely and dangerous. another thing, why did you polish the wooden floor? I was... <laughs> <laughs> I Brilliance, the brilliance of this car is you're never really going fast enough to properly hurt yourself. You're never really going fast enough to get where you're going in. <laughs> Same as taste, OK? If you made a car to look like the inside of your house, it would have a horse in it. Whatever. And you, your house is just full of pictures of the Queen. <laughs> <laughs>
because she is the arbiter of all these things yeah. and she will tell us whether this is cool or not. What, so you're going to text? It isn't cool. It, how do you text? Oh. <laughs> to Look, seriously, so somewhere in the world on a film set, cool. a glamorous actress is going to receive a text from an old man on a car show <laughs> asking about the French act back. Phone book. God, you've got a number. Uh, there. How drunk was she when she gave you that? <laughs> she was tied up, actually. <laughs> so... <laughs> Have you really sent that? Yes. And you think she's going to respond? And if my bottom vibrates at any point with a text back, well, that's going, I'll move it down, but it's cool now. No. We're off. It's a game of football. The Brazilian skill was immediately obvious. But the Igos hadn't lost their touch. Fantastic dribbling by Mayor number one. <laughs> Maze on for the goal! The Brazilians, though, were bigger and tackled hard. You foul! But eventually, the Igo agility shone through. This is the old firm in action. We're all over him, like cheap suits. Across to number two. He's found the gap! Yeah! <laughs> no! What a player! Oh, But when the horn went, the score was still 2-0, leaving the Igos over the moon. Lovely work. And the Foxes sick as parrots, etc, etc. Only was James Bolshe, he was also unsporting. Are you cheating, great? Foxes on a run. Yes, my Foxes were finally into their stride. They quickly banged home the equaliser. No! Yes! And then, following an Igo foul... Oh, that was a big crash! We were given a free kick... ..and took a 3-2 lead... No! ..with James bearing the brunt. The scrap left Wayne May injured. You have broken the metatarsal. Oh, that's better. But what the heck? And then I discovered what? Jeremy's secret weapon. Literally. Ah, yes, I brought that. Yeah, well, you might... I that's thought, an AK-47. I know, I thought I might need it. Why? A weekend in a box with James May, and I thought, what am I going to need? And uh, I'd go over these... Um... Oh, hang on. Over these logs... Yeah, I'd do that. Um, and then down here, past the moons of Jupiter. Can you see those? I'd go that far, right to the edge of the solar system. This is how far I would go to not drive a Vectra. European. Everything anyone ever does in any walk of life is done better by Europeans, and it's the same with cars. Granted, apart from with American muscle cars, which only the Americans Why would understand. you want an American muscle car? <laughs> They're exciting. It's You're rubbish. It's like a, Why it's a are we tractor. Doing this? Right. I am going to buy that Dodge Challenger when it I'm comes I'm going to buy the Jag. And, and then we'll have... Well, we won't have any money. money that's well, we'll be, uh, that's the drawback Quite to well, my that plan. That would that sleep, but... Yeah, what would prove is when I turn up in my Copen that I've got... You'll look like an idiot. <laughs> Jeremy, didn't you recently call bus drivers Nazis? No. No, you did, you did. You re you... I didn't. You did. I didn't. I said that they were little Hitlers and murderers. Oh, wow. <laughs> Either way, fact is, they're quite cross, and more specifically, their union leader is furious with you personally. And he's gone on record as saying that you should spend a week working as a bus driver under their working conditions for their pay. Yeah. Well, think about it. What's he done there? What he's saying is that bus drivers' working conditions and pay are dreadful. And he's their union leader. Well, who's responsible for that? <laughs> Him! Yeah. Basically, he ran to one end of the pitch, kicked it to the back of the net and went, yeah, I recognise that goalie, it's mine. I've yeah. got it, I've got it. <laughs> we had, well, I said something about a Muslim, OK? Two complaints. You remember Jesus came last week? I he talked did. to him. <laughs> Three complaints. We were slightly rude about caravans. Yeah, we sort of set one on fire a bit. 150 complaints. <laughs> Seriously. 150 and lots of people are now demanding an apology. They are. So, um, 
we really are sorry, and we promise that we will, all three of us, never ever go caravanning again. No, 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 no. I'm sorry we didn't burn more caravan. You're right, sir, Mike. Yeah, that's true. Three, two, one, go. I should probably explain that these are not just any young men. They are masters of something called parkour. It's a French invention and involves that sort of thing. Yes, right, we're off. There they are. Look at that, they look as if they nick something. But I didn't catch them for long. <laughs> oh, please! <laughs> Meanwhile, the air freshener device was getting up my nose. That's great, you can buy a brand new car and they immediately make it smell like a 25-year-old minicab. And they're not here. They are not here. No sign of combat trousers, man. That is a victory for beer guts over washboard stomachs, fashionable clothes from army surplus shops, stupid expensive traders. Here I am in my tatty jeans and my old biff about shoes with the broken laces, and I've won. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake! Spacer bush, three eighths internal diameter, half an inch outside this, diameter, thirty five millimeters. From the rear mount using bolts three inserted from the front of the mounting. James, does it need a washer? Yes or no? We're going to go off the other end. Get the gearbox. Yeah, 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 that's what it's for. Get, get the gearbox. Engine and car, John car, car, can't car can't engine. Right, see, sir. You like to join? You've well, got to get this right. round. Yeah, exactly, but you can only see. No! <laughs> the only blessing was his small fuel tank. I think he stopped for fuel. Has the stick ever stopped for fuel before? How will he pay for it? Have you got a nectar card? Bored, 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 boring, boring, dull, tedious, annoying, backache, armache, cramp, miserable, hate, James. How far hate, from Scotland James. is Carlisle? It's very large. Obviously, and the other is that I sort of like the styling. I think it's quite chic. How could it be chic? It's a van. Yeah, but it is a very, very good looking van. It's as good looking as a plumber's bum crack, Joe. No, <laughs> whatever, whatever. I know nothing about vans either, so I chose a Ford Transit. For 41 years, it's been the king of vans, and now there's this new one, which is better in lots of important and I'm sure very interesting ways. <laughs> We're going to be roadies for one of the biggest bands in the world. The Who. Well, when I say we, it's Richard and me because James has found something better to do than hang around backstage with the greatest rock and roll band in the world. Yep, he actually phoned in to say he was unwell. But if you look closely at this poster, the date there, you'll see that what he's actually doing is he's in Rygate hosting the Surrey Motor Show. Still, uh, he'll doubtless turn up later on after all the hard work is done. I don't actually think your band is as quick as mine, Jeremy. How's he going to make that? James, your van does 87 miles an hour, mine does 120. I think mid-range, mine's pretty potent. OK, three, two... This can only end well. One, go. How about the same, James? I don't think you've quite grasped how fast this van is. Eight. Yay! Yeah. Yeah.
we were feeling crazy. Well, when I say we... Cruise control! Hey, hey! James, however, was more bothered about my sign writing. What have you done with that sign? Top Gear Furriers. Couriers? Oh, couriers. It's top... I may have... No, no, wait, 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 wait. God, that's a superb thing! It's brilliant. It's not How bad. much was it? 950 quid. I wasn't expecting much oomph, unlike our cameraman, who's used to filming much faster stuff than this. I'm no match for Hamster! Look at his postage stamp go! Probably the best part of 50 brake horsepower, I'm just leaving them for dead. J What's he doing? With most of my torso out of the window, I had a much clearer view. He's hit us. He's hit us quite. No, that's not that, that that's. Again. He must have bent the bumper slightly though, because it went to minus six millimeters. I really can't terrorize him at this range. Captain Slow, living up to his name there. James, can I borrow your van? <laughs> I did the trick. That's off. I was the first to finish without using sellotape. Three, two, one, go! Now there's a lot of traffic. 34 seconds. This is quite important. How easy it is to get in. <laughs> Ten seconds. He just that walked. Was... First corner. Now it's mid engine. I reckon I'm going to give it a bit of the old Scandinavian flick. <laughs> He's rolled it. He's rolled it over. Look. He's out. That means I'm second. He's lost. So, um, guess he could be dead. Well, there's a police car at the scene of the accident, so... But if he is dead and you fancy a job on Top Gear, why not write to us at I'm better than Richard Hammond was? One. One?! <laughs> Your van rolled over! I <laughs> could have been killed! So, you'd have still lost. Exactly. <laughs> exactly.